my name. Tom. My name is Felix Valencia. New Year's Eve was always a party with my aunt. After she moved out, the house still smelled the same. In the mornings, on my walk to the bus stop, her house looked dead. But the yard sprang alive in the cold December mornings. The outlines of the ash from the New Year's Eve bonfires, the collection of, of broken furniture and appliances that gathered in the yard. It had been years since my family had a New Year's party. Years since we all, we all had gathered under one roof and ate soggy bologna sandwiches and drank liquor in plastic McDonald's cups. Before the kids grew up and before the custody battles began, there was the holidays. My mother, St. Martha of the Blue Gun, had Christmas. But my aunt, the younger sister, had New Year's Eve. My aunt was not married or well connected. She never wore clean jeans or holeless t-shirts. She never wore her hair braided or combed with a thousand decorations. My sisters and I considered her our best friend first and our aunt last. On New Year's, she set out food. Her entire table would be filled with plates of sandwiches, cookies, Kool-Aid, Cheetos, gummy worms, and expensive malt liquor. I remember her as she flew from room to room. She had immaculate couches, but a TV on a crate with a coat hanger antenna. For me and my sisters, who shuffled from house to house with no place to be young and careless, my aunt's house was home. Her New Year's guests wanted to be next to her, all clingy and amazed by the electricity of her behavior. She would come out of her room in her Wrangler jeans and blue velvet house shoes her long hair loose and with that sweet smell of plastic in your shoes. And everywhere she would go, that smell would follow her. As the party wore on, the rooms lost their warmth and comfort until only the laughs could be heard outside by the bonfire. New Year's was when we planned for a future that wouldn't happen. When midnight came, we shook hands on it. Pink Floyd was on the stereo and confetti rained down on us. You kids are a lot of fun, my aunt would say her slurred speech dancing out of her mouth. But what's the most important thing to remember? If you're not having the fun, what's the freaking point? In the end, her electric behavior didn't matter. Her kids never came back home. Her bills never got paid. And she started to fall down from the sky and became nothing more than confetti on the ground.